The President, please be seated. The court is now in session. Le président, l'audience est reprise. During this morning session, the hearing is going to be continued when questions uh, will be put by the prosecutor to Mr. Nguyen Chia. But uh, before we commence uh, this morning session um, and before handing over to the prosecutor, the chamber wishes to inform the accused and their counsels that souhaite aviser les accusés If, uh, et leurs équipes de défense any accused person would like to be accused que from si the courtroom the defense counsel se retirer du prétoire shall not interrupt the court proceedings to la chambre de demande aux avocats de ne pas request. interrompre la procédure pour présenter cette demande they shall wait until the appropriate moment uh, to make such a request and Nous that accused pers uh, persons shall remain in the courtroom et les accusés demeureront dans le prétoire and that uh, such request shall not be made uh, amid of the questions uh, being put uh, to the accused person prise, et and uh, accept uh, in the very necessary demande circumstance. Ne devrait pas interrompre les interrogatoires, sauf dans des circonstances exceptionnelles. The chamber has already communicated this message uh, to the parties, but Ça, we would wish uh, to just reiterate uh, our position. The message uh, has been communicated and was uh, delivered uh, to the parties in the memorandum dated 28th of October already. Dans le memorandum du 28 October. However, if uh, the chamber still finds that the council interrupts the proceeding to request that si their client be accused from the courtroom, the chamber will not uh, entertain such a request. Client, uh, we would like now to proceed to the co-prosecutor to put demand. questions to la the accused person. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, when we uh, stopped um, yesterday at lunchtime with Noon Chea, we were um, making comments regarding the authenticity of the September 1977 revolutionary flag. Um, before uh, I resume my questioning, I had one other piece of information that I wanted to uh, uh, put to the attention of Mr. President and the Chamber. Um, the reason uh, I had selected this particular revolutionary flag to ask a lot of questions of is that it was not just a normal issue. It was a publication of the most well-known and important speech given by Pol Pot during the Democratic Cappuccino regime. Um, and indeed, as I mentioned uh, before we break in, uh, broke in December, uh, the speech was broadcast uh, by the uh, uh, government radio uh, and picked up and reported uh, and transcribed. And indeed, in, in contrast to other speeches that were given during the period, which often tended to when they were broadcast would be edited and only excerpts, this speech was diffusé, broadcast in its entirety, the entire five-hour speech by Pol Pot. And there are documents in the case file uh, that reflect that broadcast, which qui are very significant in confirming the authenticity of the speech. Uh, um, so I just want to put, uh, bring to the attention of the court those documents. Um, 
the immediate uh, broadcast uh, was picked up by Phibis, Phibis and reported FBI in document D262.34, uh, which is the collection of September 1977 Phibis reports uh, at pages uh, 0016877176. And it's a, if I may just read the first part, uh, introducing the Pol Pot speech, it is very, very significant uh, to the uh, issues that we were debating yesterday. Mr. President, with all due respect, if I may lodge an objection, at this point, Congress is testifying. He's testified before as to what he thinks was significant. I have, I think it's objectionable. He needs to bring in a witness to establish these facts. There's no need for the gentleman to be testifying at this point. He can simply ask his questions. And whether you admit the document or not, that's to be decided next week, as I understand it. But there's no need for the gentleman to be giving his closing argument at this point in time. Les arguments de clôture et le témoignage de, du procureur. Mr. President, this is not a closing argument. This Monsieur is le Président, ce ne sont pas du tout mes déclarations de clôture. The President, uh, International Co Prosecutor, you may continue. The Chamber would like uh, to remind the Council for the accused that uh, they should not exercise their right. Uh, to make uh, such obje objection amid of uh, the opportunity when the co-prosecutor is putting questions to the accused. Uh, counsel is advised to wait until such uh, statement being made and then uh, seek uh, Permission from the chamber Attendre to que le procureur est terminé et demander la permission de la Chambre pour présenter votre objection. Thank you, Mr. President. So, as I was saying, the uh, the start uh, of the uh, Phibis report of the Pol Pot Donc, speech um, states as follows. Quote, Phnom Penh domestic sais. service in Cambodia during la the period 2327 GMT, de... Greenwich Minutes Time, on 28th September through till 0450 GMT, 29th September, carrying reported, uh, recorded reportage on a 27 September mass meeting in Phnom Penh commemorating the 17th anniversary of the Cambodian Communist Party referred to here as the KCP. Present, according to the announcer, were, quote, all members of the KCP Central Committee and cadres from all departments, as well as more than 10,000 representatives of workers, cooperative peasants, the Cambodian army, and various departments and cabinet ministries in Phnom Penh. And carrying on, Central Committee Secretary Pol Pot then delivered a five-hour speech reported below. Following Pol Pot's speech, the announcer noted that the mass meeting ended at 1700 Cambodian time in a happy atmosphere with participants expressing their joy over the great successes achieved by the people under the CPK leadership. The recorded uh, reporters included at 0450 GMT. Following our highlights from the speech Pol Pot delivered at the meeting, the full text of the recorded speech, not yet available in translation, will be published in the subsequent daily report. And indeed, Mr. President, there are 
numerous copies of the speech in this case file, including uh, a copy that was published in the United States that was uh, based uh, on the, uh, the broadcast, which is document uh, IS 4.40. And in addition, another copy of the same speech, uh, which was published uh, uh, by the party, uh, is in the case file, which is D366, pardon me, D366-7.1.459. So I, I put these uh, uh, documents uh, on the record because they're very important in authenticating the speech. And, and and the uh, the uh, significance of why we have chosen this to verify the authenticity du discours or du uh, bulletin de détendant révolutionnaire. This time I would like to be heard, Mr. President. I understand the gentleman has finished making his Maître introductory Carnavas. remarks. J'aimerais maintenant m'exprimer. Le procureur semble avoir terminé. Est-ce que puis-je prendre la parole? Uh, President, you may proceed. Yesterday, as I understand it, the trial chamber decided yeah. that the gentleman, the prosecution, could go ahead and use these documents in posing questions to the witness. Que that was the decision that was made. As I understand it, next week we are to have some sort of a hearing dealing with global issues on authenticity of documents. Having made that decision, the trial chamber has given the prosecution the green light to go ahead and pose questions. Faisant, la Today, de the prosecution uh, uses the stage in order to somehow bolster the authenticity by claiming that because it was reported somehow, somewhere, someplace, part, uh, that this document is authentic. That is an argument that they can make document. next week. It has nothing to do for today's questioning of this particular witness. If pro if, if if the procedure here, because I'm trying to figure out what procedure we are using, Moi, but if the procedure here is for counsel, on, on either side Mais si la sera pour can stand up des and testify, la then that's fine. I just want to know what the rules are, because that was pure testimony. Mais il faut le dise. The prosecution began his comments by talking about what was significant, why was this important, important, and so on and so forth, as if etc. these are facts that are already in Comme evidence. Si de we have yet to hear établi. a single witness laying a foundation that would justify that speech that was made by the prosecution. And so I would respectfully request that we have some clear guidance. Are nous, we to be testifying and, and giving avocats, our thoughts as to why something is authentic and important before putting it before the witness? Avant de poser les questions témoins? Or la are we going to have a procedure where the trial chamber will decide if documents are authentic and reliable enough to, to, to pose the questions pour ensuite poser les questions aux témoins sur la with base reliability de and way to be determined thereafter. Et dont le poids sera déterminé plus tard. So I object to this sort of speech making, je suis donc, particularly euh, after the trial chamber has already ruled and has made a decision le genre de discours que that he can go ahead and pose his question. This is improper and gratuitous. C'est euh, abusif. The President, the Chamber notes that the statement by co prosecutor and that the observation made by the council 
les observations de l'accusation uh, et des appels de la défense. And that, uh, the parties peuvent user de toute leur tactique dans les arguments qu'ils présentent à la chambre toutefois la chambre note raised any que le procureur international authenticity of the documents uh, yet and that uh, the authenticity of the document document. will only be addressed uh, when the matter has uh, been uh, discussed at a later date uh. sera étudié plus tard some group on sarka some group lobotin council son arun Maître Sonarun. Good morning, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur Your le Président, honors. Madame, Messieurs les Juges. I have noted that uh, during the last day or so, the revolutionary flags have been referred to. And that my client keeps insisting that uh, he would like to obtain the original documents of le fait the flag. Avoir sous les yeux le document Still, the same issue is now floating in this courtroom. If your honors allow me, I would like uh, to put some questions to the prosecutor. Poser des questions à the president, si vous me le the chamber, le president wishes not to entertain your questions no. to the prosecutors. The chamber already made the decision and the ruling decision. is still effective. Mais cette décision est We have not changed en anything Rien with regard to the changé. ruling that we already rendered unless there is any further change to that, the current de decision stands. La décision déjà prise demeure. Daoi Priyak, Luk Ruk Tadal Tadal Matiye. Counsel Sonarun. Maître Sonarun. The co-prosecutor keeps bringing up the same issues that have been impugned time and again. Qui ont déjà été tranchées. I agree that uh, the court shall continue with uh, the matters, the matters that have not been challenged. Et je suis euh, que the president uh, can counsel Sonarun be reminded that you are now le trying président. to misinterpret Vous the or misquote uh, the decision by the chamber. Vous, votre interprétation de la décision de la Chambre est mauvaise. The chamber Les documents déposés à l'audience pour le débat et si les produits à l'audience sont sujets de discussion et leur valeur probante sera décidée par la Chambre plus tard. Please. May I ask that you refer to the decision of the chamber oui, and that the chamber would not wish to revoir la décision de la chambre. discuss this again. You Nous indicated ne that uh, we parler. are bringing up the same issues, Vous but uh, que les indeed, mêmes sont uh, you should really read the, the decision and you should not really répéter, vous um, lire cette décision. misinterpret it. Et we would like now to proceed to the co-prosecutor to put questions with regard to the historical background of the Communist Party of Kampuchea, which is forming the part of the issue du Parti to be debated now. Du Thank you, Mr. President. 
Um, when we left off, we were discussing uh, the 1960 Party Congress, including the uh, persons who were present and appointed to the Central and Standing Committee, as well as the strategic lines that were uh, approved by the party uh, representatives. Um, before I go back to the, the party lines, I just wanted to clarify and follow up on a matter relating to the uh, party representatives who were present. Uh, uh, you indicated that Monsieur people who were present included leaders uh, from each of the zones. zones. Um, so I wanted to ask you, there were a couple of zones that we didn't Et cover. Um, from the northwest zone, was, were nord there any representatives uh, from, uh, from the northwest zone, zone who were nord present at the Congress, Congress. particularly en either Ruonim or Kong Sopal? Some group, no partisan accused. Mr. President, based on the question, I would like to indicate that during that time there was a representative from the northeast. It was Comrade Lang. Tant du nord-est, c'était le camarade Blanc. I'm sorry, I may have misspoke. I, I wanted to ask you Question. about both the northeast Je and northwest zone. So you, you indicated that Comrade Lang was present Lang on behalf of the northeast zone. Is that zone correct? Est exact? Mr. President. Réponse. As for the northwest, le président concernant la zone nord ouest, il y avait un représentant qui s'appelait Ronim. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Nunchea. Question. Merci, Mr. Um, Nunchea. At what time, uh, when was it that zone? Secretaries à quel were moment first les secrétaires by the party. de zone ont-ils été nommés pour la première fois par le parti Réponse. Mr. President, I do not Monsieur recall that. le Président, je ne m'en souviens pas. Uh, had had Question. people been appointed secretaries of zones as of the 1960 Congress? The zone au moment du Congrès de 1960. Mr. President. Réponse, Monsieur le Président. I would like to be a bit long for this issue. Je souhaiterais m'étendre sur ce point. The Congress to appoint the party members in 1960. En 1960, lors du Congrès, des membres ont été nommés. Where the representatives of the zones were occasion, recruited, des zones ont été and those who were recruited, the members of the movements since the et ceux qui movement avaient été against membres the French, du mouvement depuis la lutte anti-française, and those people were Khmer, who were the chief of the Khmer zones, qui étaient les chefs de zone. So these senior members were Ces membres recruited to join the Congress. Anciens ont été convoqués au Congrès.
Do, do you recall question. when it was that the party first divided moment, the country into, le into parti different zones? Did it divide the country for the first time into different zones? Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Réponse. Monsieur le Président, je ne m'en souviens pas. And, question. Uh, last month, uh, during le mois dernier, by, uh, lors by the des judges, questions posées um, par les you made a juges, statement that there were some zone leaders who were not members of the party. Pas du parti. Can you identify for the chamber which zone leaders were not party members? Il s'agissait. Réponse, Monsieur le Président. Tous étaient membres du Parti communiste du Kampuchea. Ce n'étaient pas des gens ordinaires. Les gens ordinaires ne pouvaient pas en être. Il y a peut-être une confusion committee, avec le committee. comité national Mukateha. Il y avait d'une part le parti front. et d'autre part le front. Yes. Could, could you Question. explain a little more to the court what you mean by the uh, National Committee of the Front? National Are you referring to front? the front that was established uh, following in, in 1970, following uh, 1970, um, the uh, coup against the King Father, or was this a committee that existed prior to that time? Comité qui existait avant cette date. Réponse. Mr. President. Monsieur le Président, As I remember, pour autant que je me souvienne, the front was called le front s'appelait Comité National Mukhtiha, lequel if you permit, existait I may déjà depuis longtemps. Si vous m'y autorisez, je pourrais m'étendre sur ce I point. Dans le cas here, contraire, j'en resterai là. Le Président, names, je vous Lundier. en prie. Allez-y. Nunchea. One. Il y avait premièrement Achar Min, lequel a modifié son nom pour devenir Song Gok Min. C'était un moine de Phnom Penh. Deuxièmement, Siul Heng. Troisièmement, Ta Tu Samut. Ta Tu Samut. Quatrièmement, Ta Chan Samai, Ta alias Lam Chan Pai. Samai, alias These Lam four Pai. People Ces quatre personnes were all Khmer Kampuchea Krom. étaient toutes des Khmer du Kampuchea Krom. And who were appointed by the Yuan. Ces gens avaient été nommés par les Yuan. Et ces quatre personnes formaient le comité national Mukatiha. Tout le monde ne sait pas bien de quoi il s'agit. Pour préciser, il s'agissait d'un front de libération nationale. Mais ce front était sous la supervision des Yuan. Question. Um, Merci, one last Nunchea. Question. Une dernière personne que je voulais demander. Um, Je voudrais they were present enfin vous interroger sur la présence Congress. D um, d de quelqu'un d'autre au Congrès, 
Est-ce que c'est la uh, personne qui vous a présenté Chan à Pol Pot Chan alias Kamau. Est-ce que cette Congress? personne était présente au congrès de 1960 Réponse. Mr. President, Monsieur le Président, Chan Samon n'était pas in the présent Congress. au congrès de 1960. Le coprocureur. Um, Monsieur Nunchia, je vais vous donner lecture uh, d'un autre extrait du speech, discours prononcé par Pol Pot en septembre 1977. C'est le document D214.1.12 D243 bar 2.1.12 Khmer 